We got Kilo Gaddafi in the building. So June 12th, you going up against Tizzy Bliss. How your feelings going into the battle? You said going against who? Tizzy Bliss. You who familiar is with him? Who is that? You don't know Tizzy? A little bit. A little bit. You ain't heard none of his shit? <laughs> Nah, he got some high shit, for right, sure. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I, I keep it all the way 1,000. He do got some high shit. That's cool. But yeah. you don't think he, he's ready for a Kilo Gaddafi, though, huh? Oh, um, really, man? Like, it's like, really, who, who who's ready to do that? You know? I'm still, like, confused, because, like, why would you come for this caliber? You know, as far as anything hip hop that I've that I've been doing, it's kind of confusing. But at the same time, it's like aim high, my nigga. <laughs> you feel you feel me? They said if you want to beat him, you got beat him. I, I, I would too, for real. But you gotta know, you only get one shot at the king, my nigga. You only get one shot, and you can't miss. You feel me? So the pendulum is still stagnant in the middle. If you wanted to swing on your side, man, you're gonna have to go hard. And it's it's that time. So what think what makes you think you uh classified as the king so far? Oh, uh, you feel me? You like any battles or anything? Definitely have battles, man. I actually been battling since fucking middle school. You feel okay. me? I'm 32 years old. I just turned 32. I've been battling since middle school. So you've been doing this for a minute, huh? Definitely, definitely. Um, so that was, a, that was a different age of battling. Battling then was really like creatively pulling whatever you could from your experiences and what's around you and what you really know. So it was really a test of the wits. Right now, I got the pleasure of thinking about what I, which direction I want to go. And see, that's a mistake. Because I'm too, I'm too crafty to give me that time. Because I was going, I was going to do my thing, and and I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to express this the best way possible. Because being humble is an adult's characteristic, and and I'm trying to do that. But you know, I would have, I would have done this, I would have won this off the top. You know what I'm saying? But. Like I said, you know, I had the pleasure of, you know, really thinking about what I could put together. So uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a bar out. You feel me? It's definitely gonna be a bar fight, for sure. Um, how far into uh, into writing are you? The writing process. Yeah. Um, what's really I'm already I'm I'm already I can't say I'm done because. I've got the standard what I need as far as like the, the three minute rounds and shit. So those are gonna go crazy, but I just kind of just like got little tidbits that I'm just gonna put together and just and just rock it like that and just read with with the crowd and, and go with them and pull out whatever card I need to out the deck, you feel me? And it's it's just like that because as far as this shit right here, I'm really, really um, devoted to it. And I really honor it, the, the, this particular section of the craft, you feel me? And so I definitely, you know, wrote my, uh, the, the basis of it. But I'm also, I'm also ready for whatever my tongue sharp and I'm ready to just, just read off of whatever energy come, come, come into the arena that night. You know what I mean? Is this ain't, this ain't like uh, hanging out with your homeboys. This ain't in the backyard like, yo, I think they battling. This ain't get drunk at the club or you rap and I'm a rap too. No, this is, you better bring everything you have or you're going to regret it until you get another chance to redeem yourself, however long that may be. A lot of money on the line, huh? Yeah, money's cool, you feel me, but you can't buy respect. Right. You can't right. buy it. And the, and the money's cool. And, uh, you know, shout out to everybody that helped put this together, especially the folks that, you know, help you know, put put the money together in, in, in all angles. Um, fortunately, we had it to, to, to just to just jump into it. So, you know, but shout out to whoever, you know, helped put everything together for me to uh, um, have a have a worthy opponent to, to face. So, yeah. 
So what you think about the other two battles? Young and Kill and then uh, King Black and Rollo. Um, Kill switch. This shit is different now, isn't it? Two live kill. Two live kill. Right. Um, shit. And that's versus Youngin, ain't it? Yep. Right. Then they battled before. And um, it was really, it was kind of everywhere. Uh, kill switch definitely won that. He was prepared and he, he came and he took it seriously. Um, I feel like if any time Youngin was to do that, come prepare and take it serious, then not very many people will uh, give him a run for his money as far as those bars. Uh, the creativity, I can't really say because I don't, I haven't seen too much from, from uh, uh, Two Live as far as the battle scene, but I can't underestimate any man. Uh, so it's, 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 it's up in the air, but without being biased, I feel like if Youngin brings those bars in, then he might cause, really, really cause an uproar, you feel me? Um, <clears throat> um, Rollo and... King Black. King Black. King Black, now look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. King Black, I've seen King Black freestyle at least a dozen times. Like, King Black really does freestyle. You feel me? So, that's, 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 that's a strong suit. And so when niggas is getting into this type of shit right here, man, and you really have the craft to where you can use your tongue and come off the top and let whatever's in your head come out your mouth, that's that's a that's a weapon. You feel me? Um, but sometimes King Black bites off more than he can chew. Hence, he dissed me before. It was um, I was kind of caught in a crossfire between him and someone else. Which happens often when I'm trying to help people and just do my thing around my area and hip hop anyway, but that's neither here nor there. I digress. But sometimes he bite off more than he can chew. As far as Rollo, uh, you know, like I said, I've been doing this shit since middle school. I've already crossed paths with Rollo. I recorded Rollo, uh, what, 20, 14, 15? I was recording a mixtape for him already and so I already know you feel me his his uh, creativity and I'm I'm familiar uh, as far as the battling I don't know but uh, I know I know I know he's got them those, those bars that are like real shit bars and like you know, if you wasn't ready for that it'd burn you you feel me so um, I feel like I feel like as far as those two I feel like Rollo might take that because, like I said, man, sometimes black bite off more than can chew, man. And you got to really be sharp with this. You feel me? And Rollo kind of real, real silent, man. I feel like he might creep up on him, man. But <laughs> if I have to pick, I'm going to pick Rollo for that one. As far as me and Tizzy, I'm picking me. As far as uh, Two Live and Youngin, I'm picking Youngin. But y'all probably already knew that. Well, that's what it to, is, to man. Viewers. Yeah, for June sure. June 12th, 9 p.m. to 3. June 12th. Listen. June 12th, we are about to pull off some shit that this city is not seen, man. Shout out to Big Tico B, man. Shout out to everybody put a hand in it, man. This shit is really about to be crazy, man. And it's going to be packed out, you feel me? Because, like, I, I, I've i been, over this last couple weeks, I've already caught wind of, like, okay, this is one of those, you feel me? So... If y'all if y'all don't know, y'all need to go ahead and plan on being there now. Cause this time it's 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 gonna be something that you ain't seen. You feel me? And and come out and support anyway. You know what I mean? Uh, there's an opportunity to place bets. You feel me? Flip your money. Put it on. Put it on your guarantee that you, that you know. You know, invest invest in in the artists and shit. Invest in ourselves. You feel me? Um, I'm gonna leave you with that. You feel me? This is a beautiful thing. Ain't gonna be no fighting. Ain't gonna be no, you know what I'm saying? Too too much of that rah rah shit. Ain't gonna be no, you feel me? We're not doing all that, man. We're coming to display the talent and, and, and really put it, put everybody in their proper tier. You don't have to believe what you've heard about me. I'm gonna show you. J. Cole just said it on the album, man. Sometimes you gotta do it in a nigga's face so they know. And that's, that's the position that we're in, man.
Uh, y'all ain't gonna wanna miss this, man. Sin City. Yeah. Nine to three. Big King Kilo Gaddafi, man.